Uh, hi, Partial community, and welcome our guest today, Andreas Henel. He is from Germany, and he's one of the 40 plus speakers of the upcoming PowerShell conference in Europe, which takes place in the beautiful country of Austria in Vienna this June. Uh, Andreas, thank you very much for your time. Would you please introduce yourself a little bit to the community so we get a better idea of who you are and what you do? Yeah, uh, thank you, Mike, uh, Michael. Yeah, my name is Andreas. Um, I started many, 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 many years ago um, as a Lotus Notes developer, so obviously completely different. And on the day when Microsoft released the first version of PowerShell, um, I yeah was a fan from zero hour. And yeah, from since this time, I'm developing PowerShell scripts for Exchange, for SharePoint, Active Directory, Azure Active Directory, nearly the whole bandwidth. Yeah, and this is a uh, love until today. <laughs> okay, so uh, let's speak about your sessions at the PowerShell conference. What I saw, you have two sessions. Yep. So one is from the field, building a secure script with Graph API, and also from the field, PowerShell, Exchange Online, and MS Graph, the three yep. musketeers. So I have to say, I will love those sessions because I really love to work with Graph API. Yep. But uh, would you explain a little bit what the attendees can see and why should they attend your sessions? Yeah. Um, so um, let me start with building a secure script with Graph API. Um, first of all, um, I saw in the field, also in, in my projects, that many, many people do not really understand what can Graph API do for me, how does it work, what kind of security is behind that, and what can I do to make my script secure. For example, when you do uh, when you write a PowerShell script against Exchange, um, it would work for all mailboxes. Can I scope it to a um, certain mailbox? For example, this is one example. Um, <clears throat> or for example, with SharePoint, the same. Can I scope it to a certain list or a certain SharePoint side? Questions like this, they will be covered in uh, building a secure script. Mm -hmm. And the second one, um, PowerShell Exchange Online and the MS Graph. Um, there I will have some examples from projects um, where I developed, for example, something like a... Um, um, I developed some uh, like, um, for example, um, a vacation workflow. So there is a third party system where the um, employees uh, request the vacation and then a graph, a graph API and PowerShell based automatism um, connects to Exchange Online and inserts placeholders for I am on vacation. Mm -hmm. Automatism that the user doesn't have to enter all manually. Another one, um, um, extract some kind of uh, report um, from um, frontline workers when they have been a customers where they enter the report into their uh, calendar entries. These are examples um, which I um, did at customer projects and I want to give you an impression how powerful um, the Graph API can be when you work with Exchange Online. Yeah, I also think Graph API is very powerful. Every customer which asks, can we do this or that? The third thing is always uh, look at the Graph API. Do I have an API to that and, and use this? Bef before I take any, any PowerShell module or something like this, first yeah. step is always the Graph API for me too. Yeah. Yes. Another very important point, which I will try to cover in my sessions, um, is to show how easy it can be with Azure Automation and Azure Functions. Yeah. You do not have yeah. to build script servers. You can automate this for low or maybe even no cost. This will mm -hmm. also be something because it does not have to be extremely expensive. This is also yeah. very important. Okay. Okay. Sounds like cool sessions. So really looking forward to this one. So you already mentioned you you worked with Lotus Notes. I already uh, also saw this on on your LinkedIn profile. Mm -hmm. So um, <laughs> do you, you, you are you wishing Lotus Notes back, or do you think Lotus Notes? Is lo is not Lotus Notes dead? Yes. Isn't no, it? no, it's not. No, it's not. Okay. <laughs> no, it's not. Um, the community has become smaller. Yes, but Notes okay. is not dead. Um, um, HCL is still developing new versions of it, and mm -hmm. I think uh, well, some uh, last year they released new versions of several products. Um, <clears throat> But um, I, I, I still love Lotus Notes. I love Lotus Notes. I love the Microsoft universe. Both um, okay. have good sides. Both have dark sides. That is normal for software. <laughs> yeah. Um, I like both. I like both worlds. I okay. feel at home in both. And I also um, wrote some scripts to combine these or to make them coexistence. This is also possible. Okay. okay. And uh, this is yeah some kind of hobby for me. 
So you still work with uh, Lotus Notes, or you still have customers yeah. which are using yeah. Lotus Notes? Okay. Yes. Yes, I have. Okay. So uh, we already talked before this recording that you have been in Austria before. So usually I ask this question to all of my of my uh, guests, but as you live near the border of Austria, so I can uh, we, we can skip this. But what is typically for you when you think about Austria? What what comes in your mind? Mountains and blue sky. Mountains and blue sky. <laughs> okay. Yes. <laughs> so will you, will you stay longer in Austria or in Vienna or just for the conference and, and go home or leave, leave no, to go um, home? I, I plan to stay longer because I love Austria. I love Vienna. Um, I love the, the people there. I love the, I love the town, the city. Okay. Yep. And what, what are you looking forward to, to do in Vienna? Any, any special things? <laughs> Um, eat some, yeah, um, Sacher Torte. <laughs> this, yeah, is, okay. this is a must when I am in Austria. And uh, rest of the time, just enjoy myself, enjoy the people, enjoy the city, enjoy the country. Okay. No you complete will, uh, plan. Which, I, do you will come alone or take your family for a vacation? This depends on um, uh, on the school and kindergarten. Ah, okay. You have kids in school, so this is not that that easy. Yeah, yeah I understand. Yeah. Okay. Um, one last thing. I, I saw you. You founded a company last year, yeah. at the end of last yeah. year or mid of last year. <clears throat> it has a very cool name, Black Magic Cloud. So, yeah. what was the idea? How did you you get to this name? <laughs> this is. <clears throat> I had the dream um, of being or, or of having my own company or being self-employed already uh, when I was at university, but I never did it um, because mm -hmm. I had really good jobs um, as administrator, as a consultant, as a cloud architect. And then there was David. I said, "Okay, if I do not do it now, I will never do it." Um, yeah. but, and then the next question was, "Yeah, how to call my company?" And yeah, <laughs> I'm not the creative guy. If I would be, I would maybe work in marketing, but <laughs> I'm still an IT guy. <laughs> and then one day I thought, "Okay, one of the things I always or very very often hear at customers, uh, this cloud stuff, nobody can understand this. This is like a black hole, like black magic." And then I said, "That's the name of my company." Okay, I see. That's it. So that's, that's it. Keep really cool name a pick that, that that keeps in mind so everyone will will heard this name they will remember though this name so really cool name so Thanks for the my last day. question for today um what is your favorite powershell commandlet and your favorite powershell module and why <laughs> or maybe that you're using on a regular basis or uh, This is really hard to answer. So the favorite PowerShell module, I would say it is a combination of Exchange Online version 2. Okay. And Azure AD, because these are the modules I work with most, mm -hmm. most times. Mm -hmm. Favorite command. Maybe invoke REST methods to, to uh, call the REST exactly API. This one, yes, because <laughs> I do the most things with Graph API today. Yeah, invoke yeah. REST method, yeah. Okay. Okay, cool. Andreas, thank you very much for your time and really looking forward to meet you in, in Vienna and maybe we eat a, uh, a piece of Sachertorte together and maybe drink some beer. Um, yeah, any last words to the community? Or, yeah. yeah, I'm looking forward to meet you all, all the crazy people in the world. All the crazy people in yes. the world. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much and, and thanks for your time. Enjoy yeah. your day. Thank you too. You. Bye. Bye.